Let's Stop AIDS has a, a really uh, important initiative going on that has to do with the youth. So if you can explain what you guys are doing right now. Yes, yeah, so Let's Stop AIDS launched its second edition of the Sex Lives Report. This report focuses on the impact of sex ed on young people's sexual behavior. Shaman Mohammed Jr. is the founder and president of Let's Stop AIDS, a youth-driven charity focused on HIV prevention and knowledge exchange. The organization's Sex Lives Report survey has released startling data showing a gap between what's being taught through the sex ed curriculum in school compared to what they believe needs to be common knowledge when in the real world. Disconnect comes from many levels. I feel like for myself, it's if it's out of sight, it's out of mind. And I think that for on the community level, we need to normalize the idea of, of young people talking about it. What we need in the world, we need a sex positive and comprehensive uh, approach to sex ed. We need to encourage that sex ed should be hassle free in terms of learning about it, testing, prevention methods. Uh, we need to th look at this on a provincial and federal level where we encourage our systems to modernize and keep up to date with what our communities are asking for. The Sex Lives report surveyed more than 1,000 Canadian youth from 18 to 24 years old. The survey stated that 63% of young Canadians felt sex ed did not make them feel prepared for sex and that 70% agreed sex ed only taught them about heterosexual relationships. Some startling figures showed that 80% of young Canadians did not engage in regular STI and HIV testing in the last six months, and 27% of those diagnosed with an STI or HIV did not receive treatment. In 2020, 53% of young people were using condoms all the time. That number has dropped 30% now to 23% are using condoms all the time. This also includes for other services, like less than 5% of Canadians are, are using PrEP, a medication that you can take every day to lower your chance of HIV to zero. Uh, th this is all alarming because it all comes down to access and knowledge and awareness. Mohammed Jr. said the report showed that there was very limited education being taught about gender identity and relationships, consent, and female sexual health. Again, Let's Stop AIDS officials believe the only way to improve this starts with changes in our education system. In Toronto, I'm Brandon Rowe for City News.